I, I got to think that this was a game that for a few minutes there it was feeling a little bit like a loss, and after Ricky's shot, maybe it was feeling a little bit more like a win. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, it's it doesn't feel like anything until the end, I guess. It's... Uh, for me, um, it's when we're in the game where. Sucking any sound. Sorry, right, let me unmute. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. We're good. Uh, so what I was saying is it, it it doesn't really feel like anything really till the end. It's obviously there's a stretch there where you're just trying to problem solve and you're trying to figure the best way to create some chances. We had an an extraordinary amount of possession. We were moving them around. We were getting into into final actions, but we weren't turning final actions into great chances um, as often as we would have liked. Uh, so. Uh, when we give up the second goal, uh, ridiculously, uh, we we shifted a little bit into two forwards, went to a three-five-two, just tried to um, yeah, just tried to push some numbers forward and tried to to turn some of those possessions into into some tacks. And you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, Ricky made a made a hell of a play, and uh, that became the difference. But we. For as much of the ball and as much good movement and ball circulation, I think we should have had a few more really good looks on the goal. We, we shouldn't have had to score two, two blinders. I think we should have scored some other goals that were, um, weren't were necessarily world-class goals, but world-class team goals, because I thought we were playing fantastic through large stretches of the game, both with and without the ball. Now we've got uh, two starts from Ricky and two exquisite plays uh, for goals. Just in what ways is he transforming you guys? Yeah, again, it's, you know, it's his mobility. It's his ability to find spaces, find gaps, play on the move, pick up the ball, kind of glide into new areas, play off of people, get the ball back. It just keeps the tempo of the game kind of flowing all the time. Obviously, he's very smart about positioning himself, when to play in one touch, when to take more touches than he, than, uh, and he just has, you know, a unique ability just to slide through spaces and eliminate, kind of either eliminate guys or, get the game into a new area so that we can move the ball, right? There's a, for us, you know, we have a lot of our midfielders are, you know, they guys who receive and play and receive and play. And he now, he kind of takes the game into a different level just with his dribbling. Uh, so I thought he was excellent. I thought Gaston was excellent. I thought it was the best performance he's had for us. Um, I thought he, he really looked the part tonight and, and was excellent. And I, again, I thought we had, I thought we had a lot of control of the game, and there was some moments where I felt like we rushed the final attack when we could have probably driven our team into their half and maybe played for a little bit better final uh, final pass. But uh, again, very happy with the performance. I wish we would have got out of here with three, but uh, but one, if we would have said we were going to take four on the road in the Eastern Conference, we would have been pretty happy with, with that. Well, thank you, Greg. Yeah. Uh, next, we'll go to Nikki Kay. Yeah, Greg, you spoke about the need for gritty performances coming down this final stretch, and you're coming home with those four points. I guess, take me inside this locker room and inside your head about how you move forward and uh, use this as another building block in your confidence. Yeah, I mean, in a way, it's two two really different games and two really different results performance-wise. You know, this game, last game, it was a real just battle, physical confrontations, a lot of a lot of defending hard and, and hurting the opposition in the counterattack. Today we had a lot of the ball. We we were able to move them around, show that other side of us. But uh, being a little bit more killer in the in the final actions would help us. Um, and and look down the stretch when you get in this playoff run, you can't we can't make mistakes. And we, and you know the penalty is a is a mistake. It's a challenge. It just shouldn't happen. It doesn't need to happen. Ra will know that. He knows better. Um, but when these games are tight like this uh, and against two good teams and teams that you know who have guys who can make a difference. You just can't, you can't give anything away. And, and today we, we did on the second one, but the, the determination, the togetherness uh, that came out of this trip and the grouping, the, the again, the next step of getting Gaston in, inserted into the team, getting Ricky into the team, uh, you know, th those have been all positives for us on this trip. And, and uh, you know, we take it home and now we, we defend our, our stadium and, and with our fans behind us. I thought the effort was, was great on this tour. And like I said, we got two very different results in two different, very, two different ways, which, uh, which you need to do down the stretch. You need to do uh, when you're on the road. So, you know, we're going to try to take the performances and, and get three points on the weekend now. And what did you get from Douglas Costa tonight? Yeah, I, I also thought he had arguably his best game with us. Uh, just consistent within the team, uh, both hard work on a, an attack. I thought he was very, very good on the defending side for us, uh, reliable. 
Um, great and good in possession. There's a couple of times, you know, where he knows and, and he mentioned it. He tried to force some final passes where maybe we could have gotten a little bit more out of the attack with a couple more passes. But, um, you know, I thought his movement, his just his technical ability, you see his qualities can really help our group, especially when we're uh, when we have the possession like we did tonight. But his quality helped us in possession, as did Gaston's game, as did Ricky's game, as did Vic. Like, when you have those types of guys out there, then you, you want to have the ball, you you know. And uh, and tonight I felt like uh, all of those guys had really nice, really nice nights. Again, I think the final third actions, we just we need to tighten those up as we keep moving forward. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll go to Jonathan Siegel. Hey Greg, um, what was that like for you coming back to Toronto, uh, and just what that all entailed? Whether that's emotionally, um, yeah. of course, travel has been hard uh, for a while bit with COVID and such. But how's it just coming back to a place where you have so many memories? Yeah, I, I, I was in a in a weird emotional place because I uh, so many people that you see and there's so much love that goes around here, you know, with with everybody that we spent so much time with and, and accomplished a lot of things together. So there's a lot of really good relationships. So that gives you that, that, that emotion. And then there's that competitor, like you come here, you want to win and you want to push your guys with the intensity and you're trying to give that side of it, which is a completely different emotion. And so, uh, and being in the stadium again and all that. So it, it was, it was a little bit of a strange emotional week for me. Um, but, Again, the guys, the guys did a great job of pulling it together and doing what they need to do, which is focus on the game. And we kept them focused on the game. But for me, for sure, and I know for our staff and everything, it, there was uh, obviously there's a lot that, that went on here and a lot of people that, that, uh, that we call friends. And uh, it was good to see everybody. It was good to be in the, sta the stadium and play another game here. It's, a, um, it's an excellent crowd. It's a wonderful place to, to play. So um, yeah, it was, again, it was just a lot of emotions, really. And just on a different note, um, there were some reports today of Julian being linked to Barcelona, of, of all places. What clarity, if any, can you offer on that front? Where might that stand? Yeah, it, it doesn't stand anywhere, uh, to my knowledge. I don't know if, you know, if, uh, if those conversations are real or anyone's happening. But for me, Julian is here, and uh, he'll be finishing the, the season with us, and, uh, and, and we keep moving forward. So I haven't, I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Uh, next, we'll go to John Molinaro. Thanks. Hey, Greg, good to hey, see John. you again. Um, it's your first sort of um, sort of your first sort of view up front of uh, Lorenzo Insigne and Federico Bernardeschi. Just wanted to get your take on them. Do they come as advertised in your view? Yeah, I mean, two two very good players. You know, Insigne in the second half was right in front of me, so I had a I had a good view of him and his his ability to accelerate and get into the next line and, and again, pick up the ball and, and change the speed of the game is impressive. Uh, and, you know, he was able to do that and kind of eliminate some of our guys, but on the run also just, you know, play passes. You see his qualities. Um, and so it's just, you know, those are very good players. Obviously, we were trying to do our best to keep him from cutting inside, getting on his right foot, looking at the goal, anything to to keep him as neutral as possible. Um, but again, he has just that ability to, to find space, pick up the ball, and then accelerate the game. And uh, so that was, uh, it, was in, it was great to see just from a, from a perspective of the fan. But I thought our guys did a pretty nice job of, of managing the situation and dealing with them. And Bernadeschi does similar types of things. I don't think he changes the tempo of the game quite as much, but he's a, he's a very good player. And we were trying to do our best to keep him off of his left foot and making sure we were getting inside support and uh, and, and trying to make, again, trying to make them make, make plays on their off foot. And uh, you know, for the most part, the guys did a nice job, uh, but they're two very good players who are going to be impactful in the league, no doubt. And they're going to help, uh, help this team you know, as they continue to move forward. Thanks, Greg. Great to see you again, and good Thanks, luck John. the rest of the season. Thanks, John. Likewise. Uh, we got time for two more questions from two different people. Uh, we'll go next to Alex. Hey, Greg. Uh, you mentioned earlier how this team just played really good soccer, you know, for the first 50 to 60 minutes. Um, for you, how important is it to see what you're envisioning with this team at this late stage of the season and being able to go on a run to finish off the year and hopefully into the playoffs? Yeah, it's, you know, it was nice to see 
some of those things in terms of ball movement, being able to play against a team that would like to put some pressure on you high. We found some good spots. We were able to play at the right tempo, get into the next lines. Uh, as I said, there was a lot of good things there. You know, when you have players like Ricky and you have Gaston and you have uh, Victor and Efra and players like this, you, you want to have the ball and you want to be, on, and even Douglas, you want to have the ball and you want to be able to, uh, to move the game around and make it tough for the opposition. You don't want to spend a lot of time. They're not grinding guys who want to spend a lot of time on the defensive side. So you want to have at least your fair share, if not more, of the ball. Uh, and so tonight I thought a lot of those things, at least in the buildup and moving into kind of the destabilization phase, a lot of that was very good. But we didn't, we didn't do as well as I, I think we will as we get, we get a little bit smoother maybe with some of these different personalities on the field together and in, in creating the clear final actions that I thought might have been there for us with either a little more patience or just a little bit more, um, just an extra run or just a little bit different weight of a pass or things like that that hopefully we'll, we'll keep growing as, as we move down the stretch. Uh, the other thing I would say is not every game looks like this. You know, some games look like the one the other day, and that was just a, just a physical, in-your-face, highly competitive game, and we, we punished them in the transition and made them pay. And so you have to win games sometimes in different ways in this league, and, uh, you know, tonight we got a draw and played one way, with the ball so much and the other night in a tough environment we didn't have the ball as much but we still managed to we managed to play that way and get a win and that's that's important down the stretch as you move towards the playoffs and and um yeah so we'll see we'll see how we, hopefully when we get home it'll look a little bit more like uh where we have the ball and we can we can punish the opposition a little bit better than we did tonight thank you greg safe travels thanks and last question we'll go to josh Hey, Greg. Um, just real quickly, does, does this feel a little bit like before the international break, some of the consistency, some of the consistency across multiple games? Um, does it feel different? Yeah, again, I mean, I, I agree with, with that statement. We, we didn't give up many chances tonight. Bondi didn't have to do a whole lot. You know, we did a good job of protecting our box and protecting our goal. And even though they have some really high quality players, we didn't give them many good looks at all. And uh, so I thought the defending side of things was sound. I thought there was a lot of maturity uh, in the way just the group played. Um, you know, we were a little unfortunate on the first goal, maybe not to, we got kind of a nick on the ball that I think maybe we took it away from a clearance. But, but by and large, over the course of the game, I thought it was a very mature, composed, controlled performance that, again, just lacked a little bit in that final third at times. Uh, and I thought the defending was solid. Everybody from front to back was, was it, I felt like communicating, was creating clarity for each other and, and working through all phases of the game. And so, uh, yeah, I, I felt like there was, we were just really connected and working hard together in the last two games, everybody adding their part. And when we do that with the quality of players we have and, and the ideas that are on the field and what we're trying to do, we can be a very good team, no doubt. And so again, the consistency is the key. The only thing I would take out of tonight was the challenge uh, that turned into the penalty kick. Outside of that, everything else was, I thought, pretty good Pretty good football in the grand scheme of things. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, everyone. Thanks good for your time, Good to see you all. Thanks.